So that was the media center. The library is right down this way, uh, freshly renovated, by the way. You said the decrepit math building was, too. Renovation doesn't seem to mean innovation at this college. Hey, Professor Floyd. Oh, hey, hey. Good summer? <laughs> oh, yeah, great, great. Head of the student union, about to graduate summa. If that is not a contented fourth year, I don't know what is. <laughs> yeah. Sure, these are some of the happiest days he's ever ignored. Here. This is where film majors like you can show their intertextuality design projects at the end of the year. Name published in the paper. President herself picks them out. A space so empty it demands students like you become legends to fill it. <laughs> if I really want a future in filmmaking, I'd be at USC right now. So we're gonna do this again, huh? Look at me. Oh, you've done enough of this again for the both of us. Again and again and again. I wanted to go to school out west and you're sending me to school two blocks from our house. Simple as that. For getting you a free full ride to a top 20 art school, you could express a little more gratitude. Gratitude especially has to come from joy first. Especially in light of your little incident last year. This can be a great year for both of us. I, possible tenure. No more breaking our backs on the mortgage payment. First year, making oh, a good it's impression. It's called freshmen. And fourth years are called seniors. And I didn't walk last year because I had the normal reaction of overreacting to my principal running off with my mom two weeks before my goddamn graduation. Your mother did not leave. I gotta meet with my TAs. Uh, you'll find your own way. Pa, I finally have. I should have knocked. Just a reminder of the torture. Many of us suffered during the struggle. The scars are no scars. I'm lucky to be alive, son. You finally finished the book? Yeah. I'm surprised to see this here. You were never a fan of my activism. It's not that I wasn't a fan. I just don't get the point of dwelling in the past. Thankfully, this is all in the past. So what's the excitement all about? I found these great lawyers who think I actually have a chance at an acquittal. Thomas says you should take the plea deal they're offering you. There's no need for other lawyers. I don't want a plea deal. I'm innocent. Thomas clearly doesn't believe in my innocence. Thomas has been our family's lawyer for many years. Even while being in the US, you have to trust him. It's too late. I've already called Wallace and Jones, my lawyers. Damn it, son. You cannot trust anybody, let alone two white American lawyers who have no idea what you are going through. This is not about apartheid. This is about my freedom. Don't you dare downplay your history, boy. Things are different now. Would they defend your case like their lives depend on it? Because I know for certain Thomas Wynn. He did that for me for many years while I was in exile. I don't want someone who's going to make an issue of me being African. This is not that. Thomas has been here before. He has fought against an unjust system. I don't care. They can do the job. I want them, yes, the two white American lawyers. I want them to defend me. Don't you dare raise your voice at me. Micah? Micah? Come back here this minute. Micah? <laughs> Fuck me. 
<laughs> Retweet. Shit. Sorry, Mrs. Romano. Um, <clears throat> don't mean to interrupt, but you need to, um, draw four. <sighs> Sorry. I'm Stefan, your resident gay. Not so sure about that. Draw uh, two. I get it. Oh, I'm gonna like you. Well, anyways, why are you so upset? Mm, JJ? I'm gonna call you JJ, and well, I do make the rules. Well, it's just, today in class, I, fuck, it's stupid. I, I don't look cool. <clears throat> oh, honey, I could have told you that. Fuck this, whatever. I'm lying with you too. Sorry. Wait. JJ, I can help. Look at this bag. I'm looking. Okay, damn girl. One, this is Balenciaga. Two, Cost me twenty dollars. Three, it's fucking Balenciaga. Sorry, not sorry. Love you. Anyways, I know a guy. I got you, JJ. Fine. But we're going tomorrow, ten a.m. Yes. Tell me what to do. Ten a.m. tomorrow. Yes, baby. Got you. Well, I'm gonna go Facetime my girl. So. <sighs> So steamy. Shut up. Tell your girl I said hey. Good night, Mrs. Romano. Good night, Jordan. I think it's time for you to draw two. Ah, oh, you dog. It is fear, fear that controls us, fear that makes us go, oh, I'm scared. Fear that, fear that, what was it? Uh, right. Fear that controls us. Wait, I already said that one. Okay, uh, here we go. Fear that makes us make my takes. Sorry, mistakes. Fear that makes us make mistakes. But I say, nah, fear. I say, I don't like you fear. No more looking away from fear. No more pretending. It is fear that... Fear that... What was it? Um... Say bye bye fear because your time is now. That's it. That's the big finale. Hi, that was a great time. Am I happy with my current cable provider? Not at all.
Hey, Z. When did you get back? The fuck, Luke? What is this? Oh. Oh. That's it? I come home if I can even say home to this. Oh, man. Oh, it's for when you forget mom's birthday. Oh, it's for when you forget to put the toilet seat down, not this. Like, what the hell? Nobody thought to tell me? That is on your mom. I told her she should tell you, but she insisted. Zaz knows how to adjust. She'll be just fine. Not impressed. Well, you're gonna need this for this. The landlord took the loot and bounced. Loot? Why not just say money? I'm sorry, you're a graduate now, so you don't know how to speak proper English. Mm. Asshole was pocketing all the rent money. The bastard even sold property under our noses. Shit. By the time mommy paid attention, it was too late. When she decided to pay attention, he took half the damn walls with him. This is what happens when mommy hired crack kids to do professional jobs. So what's mom gonna do? Well... What? We're moving down south. What the fuck? When? Luke? I don't know. Uh, maybe sometime this week or next. I got a bottle of tequila in the car. Shit. Hi, can you use the bathroom and then I promise I'll order something? Yeah, no, sorry, it's for paying customers only. Definitely, I promise I'll buy something. I just really, really need to use the bathroom first. Sorry, oh it's my policy. God. <laughs> We're wasting so much time. I just really need to go, please. Lady, I- Look, I haven't had a real meal all day. The weather sucks and my back hurts. I lost my apartment and I cracked my stupid phone. My hair's a freezing mess and my hemorrhoid is flaring. People keep yeah. shoving me and all I want to do is to take a shit in peace and no one will let me. Okay, just calm down. Here's the key. Thank you. Thank you. Turn on the fan. So now would be a good time for a cup of coffee. And guess who's buying? I'm guessing that would be me. Correct. That's fair. Oh, uh, well, you like it uh, large, black, and bitter, right? Learn fast, rookie. Thanks. You bet. Shouldn't you be in school, boy? Listen, I'm not your boy. And I knew I'd see you around. That was some bullshit you pulled the other day. Last time I checked, you needed probable cause for stopping Frisk. Well, I had all the cause I needed. Your boys were up to something, and your friend looked suspicious. Every black man is not the same. We may all look the same to you, but we all live different lives. Does my skin intimidate you? Does my height make me a threat? I don't sell drugs, I'm not a scammer. 
All I do is play ball and get good grades. You know what? Fuck it. See for your damn self. What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? Let go of me! Call it in, Stuart! Now! Move! You're gonna be all right. You're gonna be all right. to deleting the parts of my past that have hurt me, and to integrating the parts of my past that have helped me grow, to being fully present in my pursuit. I am in New York! Oh. Yes. Excuse me, sir. Oh, oh. This is a thousand dollar fine for littering in a public space. Oh, I'm really sorry, officer. Lucky for you, I write it for 75. Wait, um, I was just trying to let go of part of my past. Throwing that note was symbolic. <laughs> okay, um, instead of writing down a fine, I'm sure there are some things you like to let go of. <laughs> no nothing in your love life? Tread lightly. Okay, sorry, <laughs> you're right. Uh, just like someone maybe you're holding a grudge against and you could let it go. Free up some energy for something positive. I'm sorry, sir. It won't work. about I can do your bidding but I think it'll feel better if you did it I don't even remember why I met to recognizing that friends and family are everything. really good. <laughs> Wait, really? 15 bucks? Fine. It was worth it. I should be going. No, no, stay, my love. You need time with your son.
It was lovely meeting you, Aaron. You've been a little quiet. It was nice having you here. Well, it's your birthday. Mm. Ana Maria, do you like her? Listen, I had no idea that you were coming. It's not like I had a chance to put a sock on the door. <laughs> I do miss your mother. Oh, you have a funny way of showing it sometimes. She got cancer, Don't. Aaron. I didn't want to refuse the chemo, but I had to respect her wishes. You have to let go, even when you love them. You have to, in order to move on. Well, let's be honest. You moved on way before mom died. I don't want to fight with you. Your mother already forgave me. Yeah, on her deathbed. What was she supposed to do? God, you can be such a prick. Why do you always do this, huh? Give me a chance to be your father, not some obligation. You cheated on mom again and again. You hurt her. You did that. Shh. I'd like to believe you changed. I'd like to think I've changed. Listen, son. Just stay the weekend, okay? You and me. I don't know. I gotta get back to Jess. Give me a chance. Jess will understand. We rarely do this. Just the two of us? Yes, I promise. All right. I'll text Jess. I'll make it happen. Just me and you for the weekend. See. But you better not fuck it up. Well, besides being accosted by teenage homophobes and having them scared off by my mouth blade wielding date, mm. this was the most interesting night indeed. Mm. Thank you for an engaging evening. If anything else, I'm definitely gonna have a story to tell when I'm old and gray. Yeah, definitely wanted to tell the grandkids around the fireplace one day. And thank you for both picking me up and dropping me off at my door. Can't say I've ever had anyone ever do that for me before. Well, good night. My titi Zula. I'm sorry? My titi Zula. You asked to tell me how to do this. It was back when I was in high school. Uh, we were at an away game in another county and I got jumped by some jackasses like we met tonight. I didn't look like I do now, I might add, but being who I was back then was more than enough to warrant an ass whooping in their eyes. My titi was so angry and so upset that she told me how to do this. Thought it might make me feel safe and empowered. And did it? For a bit. But then my first boyfriend broke up with me when I was honest with him about who I am and needing reassignment. He was supportive, don't get me wrong, but the concept of me changing was just too much for him. So between that and the beating and me just not wanting to be me anymore, I turned the blade on myself to try and 
drive out the pain. I'm sorry I asked. Don't be. I've never really told anyone the story of how I became Michelle before. It was freeing. Thank you. No, thank you, Michelle. Uh, would you want to get a drink with me sometime? I'd like that. We didn't even really have a drink tonight. Now that I really think about it. We didn't. You want to rectify that?